Hello everybody, Julia here from Just One More Card and I have a new video for you featuring Whimsy Stamps, Stamps and Dies. Uh, yesterday was my birthday so I made actually sure that I would have a really fun video today because I had so much fun creating this card. I'm using this beautiful, beautiful stamp set that comes with matching dies. They all come together and I already snipped them apart. Um, so I could use them easier. And what I want to do today is partial die cutting, and I'm really, really excited about this. Now I'm also using my Misty. Um, by the time that I uh, created this video, I had just gotten it, and uh, I was delighted. You know how I used my letterpress originally for a stamp positioning and everything? So that was perfect, but my letterpress was in storage, at least at the time um, when I made this video. So I needed something else and I didn't want to buy another letterpress, so I bought the Misty. And it's really nice because, you know, I stamped this here and I wasn't really happy because I thought it was a little, like, the impression wasn't more gray than black. So I just, you know, inked up the stamp again, closed the lid and booyah! Black impression. It's really nice. I have to admit it's really nice and convenient. It just makes for really, like, comfortable stamping. You don't have to be afraid to mess up again. It's just... You know, like when you stamp and then it's not perfect and you try to line stuff up and then you miss it by a little bit and it looks like double lines and it's just, ah, oh, and this really makes life so much easier. I'm, uh, yeah, I miss my letterpress, <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad that I bought the Misty. It was a good investment. It's, it's expensive, but it's a good investment. And as you can see here, um, the impression wasn't perfect of the middle um, lemon slice there or orange slice, so I'm just doing it again and it's just much better. Now what I want to do is I want to have an like I want to have only a partial die cut. Like half of these images are supposed to be cut and the other half not. And I hope this will make sense. And to do this, you have to put the part of the die between the plates that will be cut. Everything that is not covered will not be cut. That's important, right? Only that stuff that is you can see it here that was between the plates got cut and that's exactly what we want. And I repeated this for the rest of the, the slices here, always one die at a time. And it, it, was, it was in the evening, I admit. I had to think a little bit. I'm like, so where, what, where did I p need to put this now? Like, where do the plates go? I, even when I started out, I almost did it wrong. I just realized in the last second that I did it wrong. And then I used a cutting mat, that's the blue thing underneath, and just this regular knife from the, um, I don't know, like a Home, home Depot store. Uh, to cut along a pencil line and to make sure that, like, to separate this. And then I would end up with this great border. Now, if you don't have matching dies, you can totally fuzzy cut. You can totally do this. It's, of course, a little bit more work, um, but if you have the dies, just, just give partial die cutting a try. It's so much fun, and the effect is really great. And I had, little, like, a little bit of dirt there, and then I just used, used my clean eraser to, um, to erase this, obviously. Now for the coloring, I decided I want to have some fun, so I grabbed my Zik, uh, Zik Real Color Clean Brush thingy, it's a very complicated name, um, and just some water and started coloring. Now, like, I'm not going for shadows and light sources and God knows what here, it's just I wanted to have fun. Little, literally just fun, good old-fashioned fun, like just color for the sake of coloring, don't worry about anything specifically, and it feels good, like, you know, like, if you're stressing out because you see all these amazing colorations online, you're like, oh my gosh, everybody's an artist, and, like, I'm a total failure because I can't do the same things that other people do, stop, really stop, have fun, especially if you have beautiful, whimsy images like this, don't stress out about textures and light sources and having stuff, like, like true to life, just do whatever feels best to you. Like, literally, like, I probably, like, like if I wanted to have been true to life, I probably needed to do these, um, the fruit slices there in yellow, not in orange, but I was like, mm, I don't want to, I want to have a mix of yellow and orange, so just, that's just what I did. Literally, have fun. And if you color a little bit outside of the line, you know what? It's okay. Nobody will grade you on this. Nobody will berate you for doing this. Just have fun. And I had a lot of fun. Like this loose coloring that doesn't take a ton of time is just fun because you're not stressing out about, oh, light source comes from down, light source comes from up, blah, 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 whatever. Just, just color. 
I, I like I, I I know you're probably sick of me saying this, but I I get so many emails, so many comments like, oh, this is so beautiful, and you know, like I'm not good enough and stuff. It's like don't do this. Don't compare yourself to others. Do whatever feels best to you. Like if I would compare myself to people that I admire, like Marika Rafu, uh, Kathy Rakuzin, um, Sandy Alnock, like I would not grab a pen ever again. So just do whatever feels good to you. Like I tried, by the way, I tried to do some splashes here and it didn't work out. And then I just like uh, added some water and color like randomly around there. So I would have a little bit of a colorful border and I just went with it because it felt good. I almost used my regular acrylic block for the sentiment because I was like, yeah, it's the sentiment. Let's just quickly do it. And then I was like, wait, you bought the Misty exactly because you always mess up the sentiment. Don't be lazy now. Just use the Misty for the sentiment. It was perfect on the first attempt, but I just had to laugh because, you know, I just wanted to work around what um, I had actually bought the Misty for, which seemed so silly. Sorry, I just, I have to laugh about me, about myself. Uh, I'm using uh, the, um, the brush pen actually to ink up this background stamp, so I will have the same yellowish color there that I am using on the, um, uh, on, like on the lemonade panel so to speak um, uh, you can totally use the the brush and color up the stamp so of course you won't get a perfect impression that's why I used it there to uh, inten intensify the color and then I'm using uh, just a water brush to smooth it out a little bit now in order for the co that there to be a little bit of contrast uh, between the panel and the background I grabbed this black pen and tried to um, have like a blackish border there or enhance it a little bit didn't look perfect, but you know, I didn't add so much that it was unsalvage unsalvageable that I couldn't use it anymore. So there. Just adhered this and uh, trimmed this down a little bit. I always have a clean eraser ready just in case I get a little bit of a smudge here or there. And then I adhered some sequins by Pretty Pink Posh. And of course I had to grab my Stardust gel pen and add some dots around the sequins because it's just like, it's fizzy, it's fresh, it's lemonade, and it sweetens up my life. So I had so much fun creating this card. I'm telling you guys, just being silly was just so much fun. So here's that border and I you know like uh, you can see a little bit of an indentation there where the plates pressed into each other but hey I mean it's a handmade card right it's, it's not a mass-produced thing so here is the uh, like this die cut from the side where it hangs over the edge just so much fun and that sentiment is just oh I mean seriously isn't that wonderful I'm so looking forward to sending off this card to somebody and sweeten their day so that was my time with Whimsy Stamps uh, being a guest designer and I've had a blast. I hope you got inspired. If you didn't know Whimsy Stamps, uh, I hope you uh, check them out. Um, all the links are in the video description below and I would love if you would subscribe or leave me a thumbs up. Or subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Thank you guys. Cheers.